best, greatest, most well-known monkeys to ever have existed. Alright, we're gonna start with number 10. Um, this is a happy home designer from New Leaf and New Horizons. His name is Deli. Deli is a lazy, he wears a normal, you know, sweater all the time. He's got purple inside of his ears. He's a pretty chill guy. He's pretty cool to be around, but he does not deserve anything other than a 10. Now, when we're talking about more original, more cool, more chill guys, not really chill, but I'm going to talk about Champ. Champ is a jock. Cool guy, man. He's a city folk from Wild Worlds, and he's just cool. He's just way cooler. Dilly. All right, moving on. Then we have this is still New Leaf, Shari. Shari is sister from New Leaf, Happy Home Designer, and New Horizons. So she got popular more with like. Pretty sure Jack Septicai hate her. I think that was a thing. So that made her more popular. That's really the only thing. Alright. And then we have um monkey called Infernape. Infernape is from Pokemon. Really cool Pokemon. Really, really cool. I did not pick this one out when I was playing Pokemon. But they were really cool. I know that. They look really cool. Probably put a picture of it. But they look really cool and they're awesome. Next, we're going to talk about Tiny Kong. Tiny Kong apparently has a web. I never knew this, to be honest. Has a banana, like, crossbow thing. That's cool in and of itself. That's awesome. So, Tiny Kong, I'm not sure where we're at. I'm pretty sure we're at 7. Then, we're going to go to Dixie Kong. Dixie Kong is kind of like a little bit, like, very similar to Tiny Kong, but. You know, she's a bit cool. I'm not gonna lie. Um, she has super powerful hair. She can do cool stuff. All right. Now we're gonna talk about who next. Hmm. Let's see. Let me find. Let me find a really good monkey. <gasps> this one's really high, though. I don't know. Uh, perfect. Groki. Groki was the Pokemon I picked for Sword and Shield. Sword and Shield was pretty good. Groki, cool guy. His final evolution is a big monkey with a, a, a drum. And he has a stick for the first thing in between his thing. And he has a he has a little, uh, like a, a bun on his head. That's really cool. And he uses the thing as like his first drumstick. Like that's awesome. That's awesome. You also can use it as like an attack thing. We've got Passage, and then he, all of his really names, I'm pretty sure, are all Sage at the end. He's like, cool, he's a cool guy. I think he's either, I can't remember what type he was, but he was cool. He, he looks like he has a mushroom cloud explosion on the top of his head, and he has like Pikachu mouth. That's all about him. Now, we're going to talk about Monkey from Super Monkey Ball. I'm not sure he has a name. I really don't know if he has a name, but I think, I have no idea what his name is, but the monkey from Super Monkey Ball. That's very high. That deserves very high. All right, now we're getting into a very high area. This is where the real big boys go. Now, we have Diddy Kong. I'm not sure where this is, but this should be around seven. I mean, not seven. Um, around three. Diddy Kong is fantastic. Fantastic sidekick. The sound he makes is fantastic. It's funny. He's a cool guy. He's a f he's a cool, really cool guy actually. He has a nice tail. Unlike Donkey Kong, he has a tail. He can hang from stuff. His hat. He can do a little cool hat flip thing. And he wears an awesome tank top. This is actually one of the few monkeys on this list who wears clothes. I know. Crazy. And he's the only monkey I've ever seen, mostly, to wear a hat. If Correct me if I'm wrong, but he's a very one-of-a-kind monkey. He also starred in his own game, Diddy Kong Racing. Now, if you've never heard of this game, you can go fall and die in a ditch. This game's fantastic. It was from Nintendo 64, and it was on the DS. It was like, um... How would you say it? Like Mario Kart. 
cooler. And then, getting into the real big boys. We got Harambe. Harambe, three year old boy. He took a little baby hostage, not really. Just playing with the little baby kid. And he got shot for him. Poor guy was just chilling with his friend and he got murked. For no reason. Except for dragging him around, having fun, man. That's all he did. He was an extremely powerful, cool ape. And to be honest, RIP to that kid, man. Because that, that monkey could have lived long. And who knows, maybe they could have shot the kid when they were trying to shoot the good old monkey, man. Come on. Now we've got number one. We've got number one, boys. Donkey Kong. I mean, come on, who wasn't expecting Donkey Kong to be number one? Let's be real. Donkey Kong has amazing. I have to say, him with, um, he only looks good when his teeth are together. Like, some of the times, in some of the games, in Super Smash Bros, he looks fantastic. He looks good with teeth. I mean, he looks bad with teeth in most games. Like, he looks good with teeth in, like, the starting thing, but when you put him in game with teeth, not very good. If you have a normal picture of Monkey Kong with no teeth and just his lips are covering his teeth, it's fine. Also, his teeth look like marshmallows. He's a powerful ape. He has many games about him. All of his games are fantastic. And they call me I'm wrong. Because I'm not. All of his games are cool. He's a fantastic character design. He looks like a Jimmy Neutron head. He wears a tie only. What else do I have to say, man? Come on. So, that was the top monkeys from all video games. So, yeah. There you go. There's no disputing this, by the way. This is in the books. Best monkeys from video games, 100%.